What's up, S and D squad? It's your boy DJ. And you right now here doing your hands up. It's your girl here with the God. Yes, sir. Look, we are back with another video, y'all. As y'all can see, we are back with another Q and A video. But look, before we get into these good old hot juicy questions, man, I'm gonna need for all of y'all to go do what? Subscribe, hit that bell notification, ding, boo, ding, so you can be notified every time we us all of us drop them what? Them what? The bangers! Yes, sir. Y'all already see it. So look at man. We're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this. We don't want to waste no time. We're gonna get straight to the questions. What is the first question that well, our fans has asked us that they want to know? Well, first of all, if y'all haven't been tuned in to our Instagram, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and go tap, tap, tap in. We need for y'all to really go tap into the main Instagram accounts, okay? Like, go tap into the main ones. We get to y'all. If you go to the main ones, you'll find the fucking you know personal ones. Mm -hmm. So. You go in there if you're a real fucking fan and you'll see, okay, they got personal accounts. So it's the Reed Family 7 and we asked uh, people, we did a Q&A. So these are the Q&As that we did receive and we're going to answer them. You so know, let's so get down to it. The best way we can. The best way we can. First question was, what was the one prank you, you each pulled on each other that really pissed y'all off? I don't know. Mmm. Um, I would have to say the one that pissed me off was when DJ act like he had a, the mannequin. He was like, mm, mm, oh mm, yeah, I forgot mm, about that mm, one. Uh, yes, that yeah. pissed me off. Oh, uh, I gotta say the one with the period prank. I ain't. I mean, I did it, mm. but I ain't really care for it because it just. I don't know. That shit just seen it. I don't know. That shit was weird to me. Yeah, but, you really got mad, like. But yeah, that was the two from her and me that we didn't like. So. Yeah. It is what it is, but the one that you don't like is the one that actually goes viral. Right, right, right. But it'll help if y'all make it viral by sharing it. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go on to the next. Mm. Okay, if y'all could go anywhere else in the world for vacation, where would it be? DJ already said this last time, he wanna go to the moon. Go to the moon, man, where ain't got nobody out there that can judge you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody out there can, you know, tell you what to do. Uh, being all your business and being messy. It's just you and the atmosphere and the lollipop. That's what he says. Yeah. He said he wants to go to the freaking moon. I just want to go to a private island on a beach somewhere on an island and just be left alone. That's my dream vacation on a freaking island. See, think about those right there. You're going to get bored out of that shit real quick. No, you won't. Not if it you've been dealing gonna, with reality. Gonna, I mean, that's cool, but it won't be exciting because everybody going to say, oh, I've been there. You got to go somewhere where you know, nobody can even speak. You know, people talk too much. That's number one. Go somewhere where it's just quiet. Don't even you know, people around, you go to, I bet you if you go to Italy, they don't even speak. I tell you, you want some pizza. Anyways, next question. What is one thing about your partner that annoys the out of you? Woo! I hate when you shake your leg. I, 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 hate, I, when, I hate when you chew gum. And uh, I think that's it. Those are the two. <laughs> he hates when it. I chew gum because when you chew gum, you got to get all the flavors out. And I just be... And he get to, mad. But imagine that shit in public, though. People look at you weird. And I don't so like, I don't like, I don't like for people to look nobody. down on me. I don't like people looking at me sometimes. Yeah, he really don't. Mm-mm. Mm. My 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 thing that annoys me is his attitude. He just have an attitude for no reason. And then he'll call me and then he likes to complain. And I'm like, why are you calling me complaining right now? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's one of them. Um, mm. Yeah. So those are my two that I cannot stand. Uh. Mm. And then, oh, I got another one. Oh, I'm sorry. When he comes home, when we're about to go out, he changes 20 million times because he has to have on the right shoes with the right shirt with the right pants. He's worse than a female. And then he don't hang nothing back up. He leaves it either on the bed or on the door, somewhere, on the floor. And then he'll leave the house like that. And then when we come back, he's like, oh, shit, it's a mess. Mm -hmm. And then ask me to clean it. They're going to tell you every dude do it. Whatever. What they're going to say in the comments. Y'all comment down below. Let me know if y'all boyfriends or husbands do the same exact thing that I do. Get just no. 20 million times. Mm -hmm. Don't hang it up till you get back from where you're coming from. Next question. Next question. How did you and DJ meet and where? 
We met through a friend. That was years ago, man. Mm -hmm. Met through a friend at a lounge. Not really. Yeah. Can you really say we met by a friend? I mean, if you wasn't with that person, and if he didn't know that person, then I wouldn't have known you. It would have been just random people passing up random people that night. I mean, you did pass me up, and you didn't know. When I was at the bar, you said you noticed me. So you didn't know that he knew my friend. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Okay. No, you didn't. No one's going to walk somewhere separately and not know that y'all two together. So, I mean, it is what it is. He capping, y'all. Oh, my. Anyway, yes, we met at a lounge, okay? I was getting my party on. I was like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was back before you could be called a thot. I wasn't no thot. I said that was before you oh, were okay. being called a thot. Nowadays, you can't do stuff like that because you can't, they look at it as, oh, no, nah, you can't bring that type of, per you know, people to the house mm -hmm. or, or get serious with them because they they done done this a million times back then when we first met that's all what it was mm -hmm. to do it wasn't no iphones to create you and actually I, do, I didn't want to go out that night like, no i, was I didn't want to go either dog. i actually was in a truck that night i ain't even come in to about like one o'clock that morning yeah yeah we got there early but i i, I, I wouldn't think we got go there, in there i think we got there like 11-ish mm -hmm. and i did not want to go i was sick i wasn't feeling good this before COVID. <laughs> But I was sick, and it was New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. It was New Year's Eve, and I did not want to go in. Like, I was, like, sick, but my friend had begged me because she heard her ex was going to be there. By the way, the ex was his friend, and so she had to go. And I wonder what that nigga doing, man. I don't know, and she was literally, y'all, she was dancing on stage and stuff and doing the most, and I'm, like, in the corner, like, all shivering and stuff because it's freaking cold and sick and shit, sneezing and wiping my nose. And just ready to go. But then I saw him. Got down and we boogied and we mm, 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 and all bumping, grinding and mm, next question. Mm, okay, next question. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, how old are we? Twenty nine in spirit. Twenty nine in real life. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine, baby. Twenty nine and twenty nine looking good. Yeah, getting what? younger by the day. What? Next year, I'm but I can say I can say age don't make a difference. Age is it, countless, bro. You can do whatever you want to do at any age. Don't let none of them suckers tell you you're too young or you're too old. You can yeah. do you can do whatever you, you want to do. Want. I'm telling you right now, you can do whatever you want to do. As long as you're living, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. My daddy still cut the yard. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. Um, what grades are your kids in? So we have Leah. She is actually in tenth grade. We have Devon, he is in fifth grade, he's going to sixth grade. We have Davlin, he is in fourth grade. Drayden is in second grade, and Damari is in- Oh, Drayden was in the third. No, he's in second. Hmm. Wow, that's bad. That is just horrible. Yeah, you're a year apart. No, his birthday started late. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just saying, I gave him credit. Whatever. And then Damari is actually in sixth grade right now. Mm-hmm. So, wait, is he in six or seven? Seven. Oh, I'm sorry. He is in seventh grade right freaking now. Mm -hmm. Bam! And we ain't got no more babies. We ain't got no more kids, and we're not planning to have no more kids. I'm not having no more kids. I'm not popping no. out no more kids. I ain't doing it. No, we done with that. All that, all that other, I be seeing people, oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, this, and I'm like, shit, good luck. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. When all that, all them colorful balloons is gone, when that child with you, mm -hmm. man, that's a different responsibility, dog. That's for all the young folks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have kids and all that. You have, I, I can tell you, have them young. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that, have them young. But don't be no fool because that relationship didn't work and then all of a sudden you wanna get with somebody else and they wanna make babies with you. Don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. That's the stupid part of it. What, uh, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Will y'all ever collab with other YouTubers? I mean, yeah, but yeah, and then no. And the reason why I can say yeah is because it's business. You know what I'm saying? If it's gonna benefit me and Sarah, then yeah, but if it's not gonna benefit me, then no. Um, and that's the yes part. The no part, you know, you can ask yours next. The no part of be um, is because people get, they get funny. You know what I'm saying? People grind me, man. There's a lot of cops out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? And YouTube, it could be a lot of cops. It's a lot of, you know what I mean by cops is, you know, you know, hey, they, they wanna, they wanna be in charge. And I ain't let nobody put me in. You ain't gonna be in charge over me. That's just the way it is. If it ain't, put it like this, if it ain't about business, then it's on some beef. If it ain't business, it's beef. That's how. It, that's why it's a yes and no announcement. Straight up. I'm letting y'all know straight up how it is. You know, um, hold on, let me think. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yes or no answer. All right. Let's All right. Go on. Oh. You gotta ask is, yours. Oh. Oh, um, loud and, Yeah, you. Oh, okay. It is. Uh, what is one thing you hate and love about doing YouTube? Um, I don't, I don't really hate it. I mean, the the hate. Oh well, I take that back. The hate part is just like the messiness. It can be really, really messy and grimy. Um, but I love YouTube. Like, I can grind for it all day. Like, I, I love it. It's actually fun. I love getting out my comfort zone. I love making people smile. And I really just think about like what I can do different for content for y'all. That's it. Like, that's the only thing that runs through my mind. But other than that. I try to block lately I've been blocking out like the negativity and like the drama and stuff like that because I'm like at the point to where I'm over it like completely and I'm ready to just focus on what I need to focus with focus with because I feel like everybody's gonna stop my money if I focus on the negative and focus on other people it's gonna stop me from my money and I'm not gonna let nobody stop me from my money because I'm reaching to one goal because I'm tired of doing what I'm doing now mm -hmm. so I don't want to keep doing what I'm doing now and if I keep Focusing on the negative and all the bullshit, then I'm gonna just keep and I'm gonna be stuck in one area. I don't want to be stuck no more. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to do what I gotta do. And I'm put like this: if um, if any y'all fellas, even women, if y'all ever hit a heavy bag before, punching bag, you know what I'm saying? You know, fucking you know, hand. You're never gonna ever outwork that bag. I don't give a damn how big and bad and fucking bold and shape you in. You're just never gonna outwork that bag. YouTube the same way. You're never gonna beat YouTube. So ain't no point of, that's the part that I hate about YouTube, how people think there is a ending streak to it. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not bro. Like you can never outbeat YouTube. You see what I'm saying? If you drop, you become famous, successful, you make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. If you consistent with it for years, if you don't drop, you don't make money for it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You're not in the algorithm. You're not, you're not known, shit like that. So if you do YouTube and you want to be in shape, <laughs> you just got to keep fighting for it. And when you do get the money, there's never a reachable goal to it. When you do become that famous, I'm talking about that famous YouTuber, there's never a reachable goal. Like it's a never non stopping career to me. That's the thing that, that I would hate about YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, it's like no, no ending to it. You see what I'm saying? Like, fuck, you gotta just keep doing that shit until you, now if you smart, you put your money to something and you invest in it, then yeah, you can quit it. You can quit the shit. You can go somewhere else with your business, you know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna wanna be doing that shit forever. I know I ain't finna be doing it forever. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I've been unfucking around and you know, I've been a knock the nigga head off. I'm gonna be real with you. Next. What, uh, wait. Are you and DJ cool with other YouTubers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're still cool with some, some people. We're still cool with some people, yeah. Uh-huh. Some of them we cool with, some of them we not. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't hate nobody. I don't, I don't hate nobody neither. That's that was I was just gonna say that. Yeah, I don't hate nobody. I don't hate no you no YouTubers. Mm -hmm. I don't hate a YouTuber. Um, we just I and us and us and I don't talk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, we still cool with a lot of people, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I was I was who I am before I created a YouTube account. I was I was you you're gonna be hated. Oh, you're not gonna fool with somebody way before YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We all know we lost a lot of friends growing up, and to this day you lose that. But just because you do YouTube, it's not it's not bad to not fuck with somebody. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, who cares? Like, it is what it is. You you cool with them? You're not. You're not. You cool? I mean, who it's, cares? it's like the real life. Like, we have like real life friends that we used to mess with, and we're not friends with them because we don't have nothing. They feel like they have nothing in common with us. Mm -hmm. So now that we do YouTube, it was like mm, we don't want to fool with DJ Sarah because they're not doing YouTube. It's some funny shit like that. You always run into stuff like it's like a coworker. You know, yeah, you have that coworker and during those five six years that you've been working at that job. That's like your number one coworker. Like. You know, y'all used to chill, y'all used to hang out, y'all used to have lunch together, all the other bullshit. Yeah. But as soon as you get fired, you ain't gonna hear that coworker no more. That no coworker ain't gonna call you no more. It's real life. It just happens that way. So it's just like YouTube. Like, it just happens. Yeah. All right. How uh, is it being in a mixed racial relationship? It was fun. She's black. My insides? No, outside and inside. <laughs> She's black, my kids are zebras. I don't know what you're talking about. I love it. I don't have no problem with it. I mean, you're I, black. Get, I get looked at all the time. Um, by I'm letting people. them know what they want to hear. You're black. I ain't going to say who told us to, you know, ask y'all, you know, I'm not going to put the name who wrote right, it down. Right, absolutely not. That was a good question, but she's black. Yeah. <laughs> I'm black first. 
But we all Americans. Period. Mm -hmm. I am God's child. We all Americans and we hate Americans. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Us Americans hate Americans. Period. Mm -hmm. Next. What are you going to do about it? Huh? What, what you gonna do about it? What do y'all do together outside of YouTube? Shit, nothing. Sleep, relax, rest. It ain't nothing we ain't never done. We already done everything. Everything. We done already done, but the number one thing is rest. Yeah. We done done everything. You not missing a goddamn thing in this world. Nope. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn how beautiful the day is. You're not missing a damn day. Nope. It is gonna be a billion fucking days like that. That, that same spot gonna be there. Yep. You ain't missing shit. You ain't missing nothing. No. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is y'all best prank y'all did on each other? I don't know. We did a lot of good we ones. We did a lot of good ones. You know what I think the best one you did was the was the uh, Latina chat girl. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. were working for the Latina chat. Y'all ever beat up, you know, 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock? Chat quest. Chat quest, come on now. Get your fantasy date. All you got to do is dial 1-800. Yeah. And I was going to call it. I ain't going to lie to you. So then it'll get you sometime. But then what fucks it up is like, damn, y'all are like Target lingerie women. Nobody want that shit. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just go call a mannequin or some shit. You don't even know what they look like on the other side of the line. They they just advertise. I don't, even think, I don't even think it'd be real people. I just think it'd be a, a, a operator. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We lie. We talking to the IRS. We they, don't yeah, even know. Yeah, they sitting there like, how are you today? Yeah, we don't know who we talking to. With the little headset. We might be talking to, uh, what, what's the bitch name that be on the phone? How, oh, Siri? Siri. We talking to Siri on that <laughs> shit. That, that's what took over. Siri is a freak. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. Siri is a freak. <laughs> now, that motherfucker, let me see if I can call in right now. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. See the way she said it? Hi there. Yeah, that, that sounds just like the operator girl on Shut the Latina. I know what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Let's move on. That's up, man. I know it. What was the funniest video y'all did together to where y'all couldn't stop laughing? My favorite one that he did that I could not stop laughing was a pimp. Oh, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. When he said, I, I, I serve lobsters the size of your back. Yeah. That was so funny. I didn't say I serve. Why would I serve your lobster as a pimp? Well, when you say y'all yeah, buy lobsters. What, what, what would a pimp work at real I lobster? I buy lobsters. Size you know, of a pimp for the rub. Man, come on now. Oh, God. You have to be so complicated. Look. Um, yeah. The pimp one was the best one. That was a good one. Yeah. That was the best one when I said, man, we eating, we eating lobster the, the size of your mug. No, I said steaks. We eating steaks no, the you size. Did you said did. lobsters. I said steaks. No, we eating steaks the size of your effing back. I'm going I'm to post it right here. Boop. Okay. Yeah. Lobsters. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What was the most interesting collab y'all have ever done? Mm. You a one-on-one -on -one collab or, or a production? Uh, oh, well. Which one? We got to know which one, though. I guess production collab, it really don't make a difference because you're still collabing. I don't know. I haven't done so many because sometimes I feel like people terrified of us. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the Ted and Ethel one was really, really good. Yeah. Y'all go over there, head over there to that channel, ET Nation, go subscribe because, hey, something else is coming pretty fucking big. Yeah. You don't want to miss out. That's one of them. Um, I think another one, the funnest one I think I've done was the one we, we did when we first did our collab with Princess and Flo in that bedroom. Oh, okay. That one was good. That was fun. It was entertaining. It was a lot of energy. Yeah. That was good. That one was a that real was good fun. one. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, I'm on, everybody was in there. Everybody yeah. was in there. When that I was, got, when I got caught with Princess in bed and, mm -hmm. and with Flo, yeah. that was fun. That was fun. I that one, about. and I have to say the one that we did with the, uh, the condom with Tree and Tree. Mm -hmm. That was funny too. Yeah, that was fun too. Yep. That one was that one was good. That was very interesting. The, yeah. the reaction was hilarious. Yeah. Okay. What was uh, the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? Feet. Huh? The feet people. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why y'all love seeing my feet. It blows my mind. <laughs> but, All of these, a lot of DMs be weird. <laughs> they did. They, mm -hmm. I posted a video that went kind of viral about tickling feet. And I had got some very interesting DMs about my feet. Like selling my feet, pictures, mm -hmm. all that. Starting to own me fans of my feet. All that. That DM was, uh, that was crazy, y'all. Yeah. You got some people that ask some weird shit on Instagram, man. Um... Uh, 
That was interesting. Yeah, I was like, they be, what? they be, they be really, they be tripping. It be some. I think when George Thomas kid, I'm gonna give it a pass. I don't think it, that one. I think was some, a kid. Of, not that one, but okay. some of the other DMs would be a lot of kids. So I just get out of pass. Yeah. Let's go to the next. One. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite? What is your favorite kind of music? Like, what do you listen to? Who's your favorite artist? Oh my God. You want me to answer that? Yeah. Me personally, this is what I think. I don't have a favorite artist. It's because of the simple fact they ain't shit without us. Mm -hmm. Why would I need to be, oh, that's my favorite, man. You know what I'm saying? He the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to stop using that shit to people, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all because they were just like you at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hoping and praying a nigga watch your video. Hoping and praying a nigga see you score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Hoping and praying they see you do a flip. Mm -hmm. Hoping and praying they see you walk across the stage and all kind of shit. It's any little career goal that you do. They were you. They just manifested it harder. Yeah. So you got to realize I'm not going to say you my favorite because you little baby. Nigga, what's your real name? Where you come from? What's your history? You know what I'm saying? What made you look baby? What kind of music do you listen to? Like rap? I listen to rap. I listen to old school. I listen to R&B. I listen to country. I listen to a lot of different music. You see what I'm saying? Country is the only music that stays humble mm -hmm. to me. You don't see these motherfuckers going out here hollering about they out there cheating on their wives. Maybe some of them cheating on their wives. Niggas, niggas, niggas pregnant another female. Somebody done got shot and killed. We done so dope. Bitch, you know? yeah, bitch, that. Yeah, so country is humble. <clears throat> a lot of these other rappers and shit, now, I ain't gonna get me wrong. I fucks with Future now, them boy. They go hard. They go hard now. But we need somebody to go ahead and open the door up, bro. Like, come on, bro. Why y'all gotta influence us to go do something we not supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm listening to a song. I'm cheating. I don't wanna go out here and kill somebody. Pow! You know what I'm saying? Boom! Mm -hmm. You know? Nigga, you gonna get me out of jail? Man, why you did that shit? Oh man, cause such and such said in the song. So I go, I wanna go reenact. It sounded cool. <laughs> well, it ain't cool now. The nigga ain't getting you out of here. Now you like that that's that's the reason why I don't have that's the reason why I don't have a favorite artist. I'm a favorite. You see what I'm saying? I don't I don't I don't see that shit. I don't I don't a lot of y'all be starstruck and shit. Well I mean, what you think? I don't really listen to a lot of music, but when I do, I'm more of the old school, like his type of old school is different. I like R&B when it was Usher and he in trouble too. And, he in trouble. You talking about number pedophiles? Come and, on. And uh, uh, all, all, all the old school, like old school music, Salt and Pepper, and you know, like all them. We buy Salt and Pepper. We buy, Hammer, hey. we buy the real Salt and Pepper more than we listen to them. Two two You know what I'm saying? That shit's stupid. Listen to everybody you name it. Has all these niggas has been through something? So, I you know still like saying? the song, there was still legends. Yeah, what are you now? I don't know, but I still like the Tootsie Roll. Hey, a Tootsie Roll, hey. <laughs> and I listen to country, and I listen to, why do I sound like uh, white chicks? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I like country, and I like rock music. I'm a rocker. My favorite uh, used to be Red Hot Chili Peppers. <sighs> yeah, I liked all that. Yeah. But anyways, y'all. That is all the I questions. Was no, that's all the questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it, y'all. Yeah, we that's done with the All the today. questions that we have for today. Thank y'all for dropping y'all questions. I hope we answer them right and clear in yeah. everything. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. Yeah, what she said. Period. Yeah. End it out, baby. I'm waiting on you. End it. I got my whole scheme going. I'm saying yeah on everything. Oh, okay. Let's go keep going. Start it over. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed everything. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed all the questions. Yeah, what she said. I hope y'all got your answers that y'all needed. Bow. And we'll see you next time. Bow. When we hit the camera again. Bow. And you see DJ's here again. What she said. See you on the next episode. That's what she said. Peace, what she said.